All right, welcome everybody to this masterclass today. Before we get started, give me a one on yes if you can see these two beautiful ladies on the screen and if you can hear me loud and clear. A robot and a human, probably an android from Star Trek or something. But give me a one on yes if you can see the screen, if you can hear me loud and clear. I might be echoing a little bit because I'm not in the studio today. Still traveling, I'm going to be traveling for another couple of months. So going to have horrible audio, so you got to bear with me. Awesome, awesome. Lots of ones and yeses coming in. Brilliant, Christine. We got Mark. We got Dennis. We got Robert. We got Asmi. We got Mark. Mark Smith. Uh, we got Michael. Lots of people coming in. We got Theo. We got Robert again. Brilliant, brilliant. So, folks, I won't, I won't take a lot of time. Uh, with the introduction, because I'll be honest, I'm not going to be doing a lot of training myself today. And like I said in the emails, if you read the email I, I, I sent you guys a couple of days ago, I was lucky enough to invite somebody on the session today. Um, somebody who I would call a math scientist. And there's a reason I would call him a math scientist because, you know, you meet a lot of gurus and marketers, people who teach you marketing, people who teach you how to lie. Right, that's what marketing is. Uh, white lies, gray lies, black lies, all sorts of lies. But there's not a lot of people who actually study things. And when I say study, um, study the technology behind the internet. And that's what, that's the kind of people I uh, somehow got connected to people who actually read patents, patents of internet companies like Google. Right. So there's a thing called Google Rank Brain. Rank Brain is something uh, what Google uses to analyze, crawl all the websites, all the video, all the content on the internet. And that thing, that algorithm helps them decide what to rank on the page one or what to rank on the first position of page one. Right. And these are the people who actually study that patent, because when you have a technology like that, you have to patent that technology and it becomes government property. So anybody can actually study those patents. So I was I was really lucky enough to connect with these people who study things like these. And they, they're the people who found a way to I, I wouldn't say game the system but to understand and manipulate in a right way, in a white hat way, in a legal way. And I was happy, uh, I, I was again lucky enough to get them on the call to share the same thing with you guys today. So I've got John and I've got Chris on the call with us today. We're gonna be sharing the same thing. They're gonna be sharing you how they have been ranking websites and videos, not only for themselves, but also for their clients and how they have leveraged this whole system that they've put together to, again, not only rank websites and videos for themselves, but also for their clients and sell this as a service, right? So if so, this, this session, this training session, this masterclass is not only for people who have products and services who wanna uh, get traffic and rank on Google themselves, who wanna get their videos ranked on Google. It's also for people who sell services, or people who want to know how they can sell services to digital and local marketers, right? Local businesses, your real estate business, your restaurant business, your lawyers, your spy uh, businesses locally, worldwide, but can also sell it to digital businesses as well. Shopify owners, uh, people who run funnels, people who sell software, people who run uh, and sell courses, people who sell services on Fiverr and all that stuff. So again, without spending too much time introducing, I've got John and I've got Chris, two math scientists, two genius, genius people. And uh, they're gonna be doing this session today. They're gonna be sharing a lot of cool stuff with you. So please try to get away from all the distraction. Turn off your Facebook, turn off your phone. And uh, if you can find a paper and pen, old school style, grab that, bring that with you get away from all this distraction, focus on the training that we're gonna give you today, focus on taking notes of everything that's gonna be sharing because I can't guarantee there's gonna be a replay because we're not recording this. It's gonna be on GoToWebinar, maybe it will be, uh, if the replay might work, maybe it not work. It, it's just glitchy on GoToWebinar all the time. So no guarantees there, but grab a paper and pen, pay attention because this is not gonna be like those you know, usual 
webinar sessions or masterclasses a lot of people do where they end up selling you something and the whole the whole session is about selling we're not going to be selling we're going to be teaching you something we're going to be showing you something something that you can actually learn today put into action and start making money in the next few days so without further ado john and chris john really appreciate you taking the time out on a monday afternoon today and doing this for my piece really appreciate it i'm gonna hand over the screen to you um really excited to see what you got to share with our team today all right well my pleasure and happy to be here and uh, love to share this information there's uh, there's some stuff we're going to be talking about here that most people don't know they're just not aware of it and you know i put up here the youtube ranking game this really is the ranking game for everything not just youtube what i'm going to show you works pretty much across the board with just about any search engine so you had you had mentioned uh, google's rank brain i'm going to be talking a lot about that because that's kind of the basis for all of the ai that's being used across the internet right now and uh, it's really really interesting really powerful stuff if you understand it so hopefully i'm going to I'm going to be sharing in a way that you can actually understand what's going on and how to use it to your advantage. So let's start with this. I'm going to be showing you how we use this AI to rank on YouTube, but not only on YouTube. I'm going to show you how we use it on all the other platforms. In fact, we started with Google and I'm going to kind of start there, but I know a lot of people are interested in YouTube. so. We're gonna we're gonna lean a little little heavy on that. So if you're it doesn't matter if you're YouTube, Google, Bing. I'm gonna also share with you why you might want to focus on Bing too in a little while. And at the end, for those of you that stay with us, I'm gonna show you like you can do this really really cheap. And I'm gonna show you how you can turn this into a service and offer this to other businesses, other marketers and make an absolute fortune doing it. So hang with us till the end. This is really gonna be worth your while and I'm very excited to be sharing it with you. But let's just show you, you know, a couple of results for what we have did in testing this on YouTube. We took an ERC tax refund keyword and we were able to push that on, these are pages now, YouTube page 23. We were able to push that all the way up to number one. And this is from May 31st this year to June 2nd. So that's not a very long time frame to be able to make this kind of movement. And when you when you use the algorithm, when you use the AI in favor of you instead of your competitors, this is the kind of results that you can kind of expect. Now here's another one. This is this is an actual product. This is an e-commerce product. They were on YouTube page 10. And here's something I want you guys to understand. Whenever you're doing any kind of optimization, it bounces around until it finally sticks. This is very normal, very standard, and you can actually expect it. In fact, in some cases, when you start to do something, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be link building, it could be on-page optimization, it could be sending AI signals, which is what I'm gonna really get into in a minute. Whatever you do, Google has a specific algorithm in there to drop you first in many cases. What they're trying to do is they're trying to identify if this is real or not. And what they're looking for is they're looking for you to alter course based on what they do. So a lot of guys that do optimization they get in trouble with this and they don't even know they don't even understand what's happening but they're shooting themselves in the foot every time they do it so let's say for instance you you do some optimization it doesn't matter what you did you did something you changed some text on the page you changed your titles maybe you put some links anything that you did and all of a sudden you notice the rank it drops and they freak out and they go and they change it back. Well, Google's sitting there, it's like a mousetrap. If you do that, now they got you. 
So when whenever you're doing any kind of optimization, I don't care if you think it's white hat, gray hat, black hat, and I'll tell you the truth, there are no hats involved. That's all a big myth. You're either optimizing for your benefit or you're not. It's just that simple. Now, when I say that, you've got to do things naturally so you don't show up on a radar and get banned. So, and, and again, there, there are no hats. It's either you're optimizing properly or you're not. And one is going to keep you in the, in the good side of Google and one is going to get you ousted. So, and when I say Google, I'm, I'm talking about any search property. They're all the same. They all work the same. So expect this bounce. Don't let it freak you out. Just ride out the storm and you're going to be just fine. So let's talk about this rank brain. Rank brain was very misunderstood when it first came out. Everybody heard about it. They were talking about it. There was buzz all across the internet about it. Nobody really knew what it was. It's artificial intelligence. It's Google looking at what people are doing, looking at actual user interaction, and it's brilliant. This is an absolutely brilliant way for a search engine to figure out who belongs on top is how people interact with the information. So I know uh, he mentioned myself and Chris. This, this is the two of us here. I'm on the left. My name is John Limbacher. Chris Armiston, uh, I've been working with for a number of years. We have both been doing this for over 25 years. We were in this in the very beginning. Chris actually worked with some programmers at Google to try and figure out or try and help them actually create one of the algorithms in the very beginning. <clears throat> so we have a pretty good understanding of how they work, what they do, why they do it all that stuff, and I have been predicting what all the search engines are going to do for all of these 25 years, and it goes back before Google. So we go back to the very core of optimization. We understand every facet of it. And also, as mentioned, these patents, we actually spend the time to not only read these patents, but unravel them and figure out the meaning of them. Like when I talked about that, that process of you do an optimization and they drop your rank and they're looking for you to make an adjustment, that's actually something we found early on in a patent. And it's been in there ever since. So we're not guessing at this stuff. We're actually looking through the code. And I got to tell you, this stuff is crazy. It's not stuff that's fun to read through. But as we read through and tried to figure out what's the deal with the AI, what's the deal with rank brain, what we found was it was looking for natural language patterns. And this is basically in search, this is what people are actually putting in. So let me take a step back for a minute, just so you understand where, where search engine optimization began was on-page optimization. At one point, that's all there was. And that system got gamed pretty easily, pretty easy to, to change what's on your pages. And then Google came in and they said, you know, we don't really trust that. Google was kind of the first one, the first search engine to say, we don't trust that. And they brought in authority. And the way they gauged authority was kind of like a popularity contest with backlinks. When somebody backlinked to you or sent a, a link to your website, they counted that as a popularity. And it was like a popularity contest. And at some point, it got to the point where it was whoever had the most links was going to win. And then they got to a point where they couldn't trust that either because both of those things are very easy for anyone to manipulate the system. That's when they brought in the, the rank brain, the AI. And we figured that this is natural language patterns. And that's what I'm gonna kind of be talking about today. Talk about what these natural language patterns are. We've, we've identified five triggers. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that. So what natural language patterns do is they represent real users' search behavior. It shows the actual intent of the user, 
it gives the search engine a way to to gauge the popularity by how people search versus who links to them. You know, it's easy to game links because you can get links. It's hard to control searchers because they're out there searching on their own. You don't have any control over them. It shows the algorithm. It doesn't matter if it's Google or YouTube or, or Bing or any of those. It doesn't matter, even Amazon. It doesn't matter. It shows them who belongs at the top and it can't be manipulated. And I have a little red thing in there that says until now, because I'm gonna show you how we actually manipulate it. So it's, it's pretty cool stuff. Let's talk about the five triggers. So there's a lot of triggers, but these are the five that we have found that are really, really potent. These things are powerful. And the first one is searches from mobile devices. It's hard to manipulate mobile devices. There's a lot of people doing stuff with desktops and proxy servers and, and a bunch of hocus pocus, and Google knows that. These search engines are not stupid. They can identify machine stuff like in a heartbeat. So you've gotta make it look natural. The other thing is proximity search. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about our initial testing and we tested this with overseas people, getting people in India and, and Malaysia and the Philippines to actually run these searches for us. And we, we did that as a testing bed. We're not using them anymore, but what we found was when we moved to our actual live fire program and we used real searchers in close proximity to the actual businesses, the results went through the roof. Another one is nas or navigational searches. What a navigational search is, this is a specific search for something that the searcher knows you have. Like for instance, instead of searching for pizza, for instance, uh, the searcher might search for Pizza Hut and menu and a certain city. That's more of a navigational search. They're not only just telling the, the search engine what they're looking for, they're telling them who they want it from and in what location and what they want in that website, the menu. That's a navigational search. We found that when searchers send those kind of signals through to, to the search engine, that it's very, very powerful. The other one, and this, I'm gonna, I put this in parentheses, it's totally unfair to the little guys. This is brand searches. Now, if you think about that, and you, you can actually prove this to yourself right now by going to Google and searching for almost anything. I don't care what it is, you can run a search for anything. If you've run a search related to anything for your home, you're gonna get stuff like Home Depot. You're gonna get stuff like Lowe's, these big, big companies. If you search for any, almost anything, you're going to get Amazon too, because they're massive. And the reason is people search for that brand name. They search for the keyword and they put Amazon with it, or they put Home Depot with it, because that's again, a navigational search. They're telling them not only what they want, who they want it from and where. So this makes it totally unfair to the little guys because who is gonna know the brand name to search for a little guy? They don't, and they, the little guys don't get those searches, so they don't get this trigger. It's totally unfair, and they suffer from it. So I'm gonna show you how we level the playing field. And the big one on the end there is revised searches combining the brand. What happens here is when somebody searches for something and they don't get what they were looking for. Like, let's say for instance, I was looking for uh, something on Amazon and I type in my keyword and I don't get the result I was looking for and I, I revise the search and I put Amazon with the keyword. Then I rerun the search, I get what I want, I click through to it. And that's actually part of the, the secret sauce I'm gonna share with you. But when you do this, when you use these triggers, it works on local listings. This is an example of one for uh, best facials for acne, San Diego. Notice the pattern. 
up and down, up and down, and then it bounces to the top and kind of locks in. That's very natural. This is a local listing. Here's a national listing. This is a uh, some kind of an electronic device, nationwide. Same kind of thing. Works for national listings. It also works for e-commerce. Here's Duramax power steering lines. That's an e-commerce product on an e-commerce site. Same thing. How many products do you think they were selling on page six of Google? Wasn't very many. They sell a lot more when they're on page one. So when you do this right, when you do these signals right, you do your optimization right, it rises the tide. And when the tide rises, and I'm, when I'm talking about tide, I'm talking about the authority and the rank of your website. Not just for the keyword, it's for your website. When the tide rises in the harbor, all the ships go up. So when the tide rises in your domain authority, all of your keywords rank goes up. So I got a, a, a message from one of my customers that was using our techniques, using our stuff, and I was really shocked. I, I thought I was in trouble because he said, Ex please excuse my language, but holy shit, are you guys responsible for this? And when I read that, my heart just sank. I'm like, oh my God, what happened? And then he said, I hope my ranking tracking software isn't malfunctioning, LOL. And then I was kind of relieved when I saw the LOL. So I, I went on. And he was sending me screenshots of listings of his customers. This is one of our resellers that is reselling our services. And he's like, this is new listings in the top 50 of Google that weren't there 30 days from now. You know, this is in the last 30 days. And this was for a, a particular dentist. And it was just all these different keywords that we, we weren't doing anything for these keywords. It was hundreds of them. He sent me like three sheets for this one dentist. This was a, a pediatric dentist, 215 first page rankings. Here's one for his general contractor client, 142 number one, 180 first page. That was crazy. Here's one for a chiropractor, 192 first page rankings. Again, these were rankings for, for odd, obscure keywords that, that we weren't even focused on. It was because the tide rose and it brought them to the top. Here's another one, orthodontist, 525 number one rankings and 923 first page rankings. I mean, that is just pretty awesome stuff. And then we discovered it works on YouTube also. These natural language patterns influence every search engine we've tried them on. We've even tried them on Amazon. But in YouTube, this was one of the results when we tested it, three days from page 12 to page one. That's for a real estate postcard marketing program. Here's one. Here's another thing too that it does. In the autocomplete, this is like recommendations from right from the search engine. This is YouTube. This works on Google. This works on Bing. This works on all search engines. It starts making you show up in the autocomplete as well, which is really cool because that can really help boost your the number of people that will click through to your stuff. So here is a here's a result for which mascara is cruelty free that's a keyword that people are searching for and it went from youtube page 15 up to one and then it bounced down and then went to one and stuck there here's another one motivational speech for success and that's another another keyword started on six it actually went down to page eight stuck there for a couple of days and then took its climb to the top. Here's another one. This is an e-commerce product, Testo Boost Ingredient. It's some kind of a supplement product. Uh, another one, Buy Testo Boost. Same type of thing, bounced around, locked into the top. And so let's talk about 
our secret sauce, how we get this to happen, what we do to make this work. So the first thing, obviously, is to perform a search for the keyword that you want to rank for. And then you scroll the page looking for your video or your, your listing, depending on what search engine it's in. If you don't find it, you don't find your listing in the first few pages, then you go back and you revise the search and add your brand. The thing that's important about this is it shows the algorithm of that search engine that it did not provide the searcher what they were looking for. And the search engines hate this because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but search engines aren't in the business of search. They're in the business of selling ads. The search engine is their free lab, their lead magnet. That's how they get people in. But what they actually get paid for is the ads. So if they don't provide a good service, guess what? People go to another search engine and they lose ad money. So if you think about that, just think about that for a minute. If you want to be ranked by a search engine, you need to be on their side. You need to be providing what they want. They want to provide quality results. If you're not in alignment with that, this game is not going to be very favorable to you. They're not going to treat you well. <laughs> and when I say that, they're not going to invite you onto their first page. If you don't do a good job and provide good user results, they're not going to want a part of you. So this is how you do it. You have to get in alignment with them. So if they send a result out and it doesn't, it's not what the person wants. They don't like that. So our second step, now that we've revised and we've added the brand, now we click through to the video or the, or the, the listing. Spend time on the site. And then we close the browser session. And when I say spend time on the site, if it's a YouTube video, we're watching the video for, for several minutes, up to five minutes we'll watch the video. And that's all it takes. That's an interaction. That is goes on the scoreboard in your favor. If it's a regular website, we're going to click around to several pages, spend time on the site, and then ultimately land on a contact page, and then close the browser. The reason that closing the browser session is important is it shows the search that you found what you were looking for, and they love this. So we just turned this from a hate relationship to a love relationship. And that is what makes them put you to the top. So it's just like if you had all this army of users sending these signals into YouTube or Google or Bing or, or whatever search engine you're focused on, they would send you to the top. It's like all these devices sending signals is going to give you top listings, more traffic, more leads, sales, and profits. And it doesn't matter if it's YouTube, Google, Amazon, Bing, Google My Business, they all work the same. So here's a, here's a testimonial that we just got recently. And it says, I created a YouTube video of a mascara that is cruelty free. That's the one that I showed you just a minute ago. And in the beginning here, it says, I only had 25 views. So far, after two weeks, I've had 656 views, and it's increasing on a daily basis. So that's Martin getting very good results, sending these signals in. Here is a, they actually sent this as a customer warning. <laughs> and I asked for a couple of testimonials from my beta testers. And this was one that I got. It says, I've been using SitePop on several geo-specific domains, aged and new, and can attest that it works like a charm. The web UI is easy to use, and traffic can be turned off like a faucet. Now, if you're doing this for paying customers, that's important, because you want to be able to give and taketh away if they stop paying you. So he, so he goes on to say, with a lot of power comes a lot of responsibility. You have been warned. So kind of a, a comedial uh, testimonial there. 
Here's some results from a YouTube project for Medicaid Dental. It's got multiple keywords in there, all pretty much having the same effect, rising to the top and sticking there. So let's talk about how, how we originally started to do this and what, the, what our cost was. It was pretty expensive and we've kind of overcome that now. We've got a really, really cheap way to get this done. But we were using these micro workers and we were paying them 25 cents each to do these search signals. And if you're gonna do 500 search signals a month, it was costing us $125 a month to have the search signals done by these micro workers. And that wasn't the expensive part. The expensive part was the time for our management to make that happen. It was an absolute nightmare. Working with 500 people, paying them 25 cents each, and then trying to manage them and make sure that they did it right, it was absolutely crazy how how that worked. And, and we realized that was not sustainable for us. That was not the way we wanted to run our business. So what we did was we built a machine. We created an AI machine to do these signals for us and we call it SitePop. So uh, the SitePop, once we created the machine, here's another testimonial. I love, I'm loving SitePop tested it on one site and I've already seen significant improvements uh, on some keywords that were stuck. This thing works really good on keywords that are stuck. Because remember, you can do on-page optimization, you can do link building, but if you don't have that third piece to the puzzle, the user interaction, your keywords are gonna all get stuck on page two and beyond. And by entering in and using AI, that's how you can get them unstuck. Here is another testimonial. Been one week since starting up SitePop and the results look fantastic. Thank you for creating the system. And here's the deal. We use real users. Every one of our customers and our clients and our, our SitePop users are the users in our network. We're using their devices, their mobile phones, their laptops, their desktops, real devices from real users. Now, nothing crazy either. We don't use like, you know, we don't use a thousand searches on any device. We're only running about 17 searches per day per device. So it all looks totally natural. And I did this screenshot a long time ago just to kind of show as our network populated across the U.S. Now, if I did the screenshot, you wouldn't even be able to see the U.S. It would, it's just covered with users. So that's our network. Here's another testimonial. Now, this is from a guy that's very skeptical about SEO. He says, uh, you know, he was really excited. I gave him access to this because I knew he was a heavy hitter. And he said, you know, I'll definitely write up a review. No joke, this is some awesome stuff. He said, I am a serious SEO guy. I rarely try black hat or manipulation stuff, but I am a believer now. I tried it on three clients with just a few devices and I can't believe the results. I had a home builder in a very competitive city. For over a year, he was on page two, just like I was talking about a minute ago, on page two, and he was stuck, even with links, power pages, embeds, content, et cetera. SitePop pushed him to the first page. I didn't touch the targeted page with any more optimizations, just SitePop, and it jumped to page one. Number five, after being positioned 15 for a long time. It's amazing even what one or two devices does, which is awesome for less competitive markets. So that's a pretty cool testimonial. Now, I know we talked about $125, you know, to get this done. What if I were to tell you we could do 500 searches from real devices for under a hundred bucks? And automate the process. Now, I misquoted that. I said 500. Here I'm saying 5,000. What if I told you 5,000? That's like 10 projects. 
5,000 real searches from real devices for under a hundred bucks and automate the process. And when I tell people that, the first thing they say is, why would you do that? So the question to me is, why would we do that? And the answer, it's a little bit self-serving, but it's simple. And the answer is to populate our network worldwide. The more users that we get worldwide, the more powerful the system becomes. So that is absolutely why we do this, why, we're, why we make it so affordable for people to get in on it. Now, just imagine being able to control the absolute best traffic on the planet. Imagine competing with major brands. We level the playing field where it's unfair to the little guys. You have something no one else has and you can get videos and, and keywords to rank when no one else can. And you can't get this anywhere else unless you're gonna go try and do it on your own, which we did in the beginning and it was an absolute nightmare. The cool part is we also put this on five different platforms. We actually added another platform to this, which is GMB. So as a bonus to you guys, we're allowing you all of the platforms. So you can do this on YouTube, you can do it on Google, Bing, Amazon, and GMB. Here's another local listing. This is for Living Will Longmont, you know, specific keyword, long tail. Here's Orthodontist, Valencia, California. That's a geo-targeted keyword. Uh, chiropractors in Normal. Normal is a city. I've never heard of it, but one of our clients has, and it's working out very well for them. Here's, now this is not just a national term. You talk about a keyword that's stuck. This is a high dollar keyword. If you were to pay for this keyword, it'd be about $100 a click. Ultra competitive. They were stuck at page 11, not listing 11, page 11 for mesothelioma symptoms. This thing bounced them right to the top. They had a little drop and then they went back up and stuck there. It wasn't just a fluke either because their second keyword, same thing, mesothelioma prognosis. Two very, very high competition keywords. They had done everything that they could to rank these. They used on page, they used everything in the book, off page, outside links, all kinds of stuff, and they just never got there. <clears throat> Here's another, this is a YouTube result. Uh, this is for recruiter near me, a couple of different keywords, popped them right to the top. Here's Amazon, and this is, this is really cool. Uh, I had never even thought about doing this in Amazon because I'm, I'm not an Amazon guy. I'm a search guy. But Chris, um, he, uh, are you on here, Chris, at all? I am on here. <clears throat> yeah. You want to tell me you are the one that kind of discovered this, and I just, I love the story. <laughs> yeah. I've, so this is actually really fun because, like, when we were doing this, um, I think this is, a, this is about a year ago or so. Um, I do I do some cosplay stuff. Like I, I I make some costumes. My dad does it, and we kind of do that together and to spend time together and stuff like that. And um, we we go through a lot of this uh, CVA foam, and uh, or EVA foam rather. And um, so there's this certain brand that we always buy, and it was always on like page four or five, and I was having to hunt through it. And I'm just like, I'm just gonna rank for these guys so that I don't have to keep searching for them. And so like right before Halloween, not really right before, but a couple months before Halloween, <clears throat> um, I went out there and I just ran a free campaign for them. They don't know who I am. I don't know who they are other than I just buy their stuff. This was like just totally random. And I just thought I'd just do this. We went up here and, and um, within, I think, two weeks or so, we had them ranked at the top of, of, um, of Amazon for all their products and stuff like that. So, um, and if you look today, you can still see them all up on page one. In fact, they're, <laughs> they're like all over the place on page one now. So anyway, it was kind of a fun thing to do and I don't know who they are, but I can guarantee you right before Halloween, they made a few sales off of this, if you know what I mean. That is such a cool story. I mean, 
doing it for yourself just so you didn't have to scroll through pages to, to buy the <laughs> stuff you wanted to buy. <laughs> That's how lazy I am. <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> That is cool. But here's another one. This was actually one of my clients. Uh, he does these UV umbrellas. So we put a vented golf umbrella, uh, a keyword they'd never been able to get to the top of Amazon. Worked for that. Uh, here's uh, here's somebody that did uh, one of the Amazon projects originally. And they said, let's see, I use SitePop to help me get things moving this for this year and was unable to pull our sales up, or unable to pull our sales up matching the prior year. Not unable, able, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble reading my own stuff here. So they were able to match their sales the prior, for the prior year, which was a complete miracle. Now, so far this year, we're up 64% compared to last year, and the pandemic shut down, shutdowns had, had not happened yet. I honestly credit SitePop for helping me get my rankings back and surpass their potential before. So that was, she was very excited. I actually talked to her about this and she had to pull products off of Amazon because they actually ran out of inventory. Once the pandemic hit, they couldn't get product fast enough. So they had to actually pull out, which, you know, that's not a bad problem. I guess it is a bad problem to have, but better than not having any sales. Here's another one. Uh, this was a very competitive category. Uh, in off season, they were ranking uh, one to five sales per day. This is for a home kitchen product. Here is a, another electronic product, DC shunts, cannabis containers, weed container, realtor gifts, uh, heart Christmas ornaments, I mean, Irish ornaments. You can see this works for just about everything. Uh, here's another testimony. This goes back to Google. This is for Google search results. And, you know, they had keywords they were doing paid ads for. Again, very, very excited about the results. Uh, and this one, he says, I believe I can now use this as proof when selling a real estate agent that I can get them to the number one spot for, you know, at least on page one. It took about a week to get there. I would still tell an agent it takes a month or two at least just so he looks like a superhero. This is one of our resellers. So he wasn't going to take this out to his clients because he wasn't sure. Now he tested it. Now he's positive he can go ahead and move forward with it, move forward with his marketing. Now, I had mentioned GMB before. This is our newest addition to the, to the clan. And this was one of our first tests. We're still testing this. But GMB, Google Business Profile, from the ninth page to the first page. That's pretty cool. Here's a testimonial. Um, just a heads up, I use SitePop on my son's GMB. Uh, for an area we just couldn't get over the hump, and it went from page one, number seven, to number three in the three-pack in a week. That's pretty cool stuff right there. Uh, here's another one. Um, this, this is actually a testimonial that might not make sense to you guys, but before we had each device per project, and now we can put multiple projects on a device. So this this was more about that he's talking about that being a game changer so that's another testimonial um here's one this was one that's kind of sad on our part but kind of happy for the customer he said i am just overwhelmed with leads and business my problem is executing the work i have now i need to pause all my advertising for the remainder of the year can we do that uh, that's Bernard, and I'm like, yeah, well, we can do that. I don't like to hear that, but okay. <laughs> so let's get to that. what we're actually offering you guys. We, If you want to use SitePop, if you want to use our automated software, we've got beta pricing here. We're going to normally charge $2.97 a month for this. This is for 10 projects, but in the beta price, you're going to be able to get this and one of the bonuses that we have today is being able to lock in that bonus price. 
uh, or beta price rather. So $97 a month, here's how it works. For $97, you get 10 projects. You can use up to 12 keywords per project. In our training, we, we show how many you should use, what's appropriate for each different type of project, but you can use up to 12 and we do 500 searches per project. So between 10 projects, you can use up to 120 keywords and up to 5,000 searches per month. Now, that is based on your devices. This is one of the things our network is user built. So for each project you have, you have to put your own devices, whether it be an Android phone or a desktop computer or, or a Mac computer, we do not have our apps for the iOS. So it's only Android, Windows 10 and up, and Mac computers. So for each device that you put into the network, we give 250 searches per month. We recommend on a project that you add two devices to get 500 searches per month. Uh, in a minute, I'm gonna show you how we can get additional devices to do that. But, and also, if you're doing this as a, as a reseller, we have all of our clients use their devices. We, we have that as a, that's one of the qualifications for them to get benefit of the service is they have to add their own devices. Very few have a problem with that, and I'll, I'll show you how to get over that if they do. Now, notice, if you know this is for you, you can go to this address, and you can go ahead and pick it up right now. I've got some more stuff to share with you. I'm going to go through how the projects work, how to set them up. I'm also going to talk about the agency, how you can make a lot of money with this, and a couple other cool things that, uh, that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. But if you know and you want to lock in the price right now, that's the that's the address right there. A-B-H-I-N-E-O-S dot com forward slash site pop. Now, let's talk about the agency just for a second. The agency is 50 projects. So over here, you get 10. The agency is five times the amount. Same thing with the keywords, five times the amount. Same thing with the searches, five times the amount, 25,000 searches per month. And the beta pricing is 197 for all of it. You get all of that. You get 50 projects. That's like $4 each. How much could you resell one of these for? <laughs> an SEO project, an optimization project that works you could sell them for like 97 bucks a month all day long. You're trading $4 for 97. I mean, that's a pretty good markup. It's <laughs> pretty, pretty cool stuff. Uh, as far as the bonuses go, you get to lock in the beta pricing for life. We've got a training. I, I put YouTube on there, but we actually have training in our members area on Google, Bing, GMB, Amazon, all of that stuff. We've also got training for our resellers too, for people that are reselling as a service. And we've got the multiple platforms. You get all of the platforms. When we come out of beta, we're going to be selling this on a platform by platform basis. So people will be buying it for the platform they want. Like they might buy it for YouTube or they might buy it for Google. The bonus of you guys being in in the beginning of our beta launch here with all the platforms is you get all of the platforms. You can pick and choose. You have on the on the regular version, you've got 10 projects. So you could do two Google, two Bing, two Amazon, two YouTube, and two GMB. So you can split them up however you want. You could do 10 Google or 10 YouTube, whatever you want, you, you have access to all of it. So Let's talk about how easy this is to set up a project. And I want to kind of define what a project is, what devices are, all that. A project consists of one domain. If you're talking about Google and Bing, it's one YouTube video, one page on YouTube. If we're talking about YouTube, it's one, one product page on Amazon. If we're talking about Amazon, and it's one GMB site. 
one GMB page if we're talking about Google My Business. So that's the projects. It consists of one, that's, that's one project. You get 10 of those or 50 if you go with the agency. You can do multiple brand variations. That'll make sense in a minute when I show you how to set the campaigns up. Up to 12 keywords per project. When you create a project, it gives you a project code. You plug the code into your devices and that's how it connects you to the network. So when I talk about devices, I'm talking about an Android phone, a Windows 10 computer, or a Mac computer. Not no iOS. It's just those three are our devices that we can handle. And for each device that you connect, we're going to give you roughly 250 searches per month. So that's how the projects work. That's how it, how it kind of breaks down. Now, putting a project in play, it's this simple. You just give it a name, whatever. You can give it your client's name, the, the website name, whatever you want. And then under the URL, it's actually the domain. You don't need to put HTTP or www, just the domain.com. And then here you put the contact page for that website. So that's going to be domain.com forward slash contact or whatever your contact URL is. The reason we need the contact page is that's the last page we're going to land on before we close the browser session. Now, it's slightly different with YouTube and Amazon because you don't have contact pages there. But in the Google and the Bing, you've got a contact page, also in the GMB. So, and we've got full training on this for all the different platforms inside the, our members area. Now, in the keyword section here, you're allowed up to 12. Uh, normally, you don't use all 12. And, you know, again, we cover that in best practices, how to get the best results out of this. The less keywords you use, the more powerful they are because the harder they get hit. If you use, let's say, 10 keywords and you're using two devices, that's going to get you 500 searches per month across 10 keywords. That's only 50 each. Now, if you use one keyword, that's going to get you all 500 on that one keyword. So again, we've got best practices, videos in place, showing you, you know, the best way to get the, the best results out of this. But if you want to add your second keyword, you don't put a comma in here. This is just a single keyword. When I say keyword, it's, you know, it's generally a phrase. And when you add your second keyword, you click the add keyword button, and it'll give you a new box for your second keyword. Same thing over here with the brand. The reason you're putting brand in here is when your keyword's not found, it's going to reach over here and it's going to add the brand to it and rerun the search. So I usually put the domain name in there. I put the company name. Sometimes I'll put the name of the business owner, anything unique that ties that website to that keyword. That's the secret sauce there. And then next we go down the page here a little bit. We put the address of the business in here. Now, if you let's say you're a home-based business and you don't want your address out there for some reason, you can just put the city and it'll geo-target the center of the city. And the reason for that, it's looking for all the devices in our network that are closest to you so it can hit it hardest from the core. It's automatically going to populate the latitude and longitude and the time zone. And then you hit save details and that's it. That's all there is to set this up. That's the only thing you're going to have to do. And then you take the project code that it gives you. You pop it into the device. We've got apps to run on your phone. We've got uh, software to install on your desktop or your, your Mac computer. And it asks for the project code. That's pretty much all there is to it. Very, very simple to set this up. Now, here is, let's talk about the agencies for a second. We've got some massive bonuses for our agencies. We've white labeled this. So we have a white label app where your business, your business contact information shows up on the app. So if you're giving this to your customers and they're loading the apps on their phones, they see your business information on there. So it looks like it's yours. We have a Kartra funnel template for reselling this. It's kind of like the forward facing 
uh, sales funnel version. If you've got Kartra, if you don't, you can always replicate it in WordPress very easily. We also, in our members area, we have a an agency secret sales training. This is where I did the sales training and in how I sell all my services. It's SEO, it's how to get the doors open, how to use this as a, as a lead to actually get doors open that you can't open without this. And it's, it's really cool, it's really powerful. It's gotten a lot of our resellers a ton of sales. And again, there's, there's the address if you know this is for you, but I'm gonna continue on here the agency pricing again it's 197 a month if you got one client you could probably get one client to pay you 197 a month and then you've got 49 more projects you could sell so it, it this is an absolute no-brainer if you're selling to other businesses or if you've got any 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 sales skills whatsoever you can sell this and make an absolute fortune Again, we lock in the price. You're gonna get the lifetime price lock. We're never gonna raise your price. You're gonna get all the platforms. I mean, if you can't sell one of those platforms to just about every business owner and sell it, you know, for even if you did it for $97 a month, something's wrong. You probably wanna hire a salesperson. <laughs> you know, it's a really easy sale. It's pretty much a no brainer. Here's the white label version. It's under the agency details. It's gonna show your, your business name, the contact, your email, the website, all that good stuff. And we, we put it out as marketing assistant. We don't put this out as site pop to the public. It's just generic marketing assistant. So they'll never know how you're doing it, what's on the back end. All they'll see is marketing assistant and your agency details. Here is Andrew, he's an agency owner. He's one of, our, uh, one of our resellers. And he says, we were able to snag two top 10 rankings within the first two weeks for our first customer. Uh, not too shabby, that's pretty cool. We love to see that kind of stuff. We have got you know so many agency testimonials on this thing. I, I'm not gonna go through all of them. Uh, but here I, I, I did mention, there's certain clients that you're going to get. They don't want to put stuff on their computer. Usually it's based on compliancy. Like if you've got somebody in the medical field, they've got HIPAA requirements, they've got HIPAA laws, their, their privacy is important. Also attorneys and so there's one other, oh, finance. There's financial people. There's attorneys and there's medical. Usually those clients are really leery and skeptical about putting anything on their devices. And it's because of the regulations. All other businesses have no problem. I've got customers in just about every niche you can imagine. And they love the idea that they can add, they can add value to their own program by helping us. And again, we use that as a qualification. If they're not willing to use their devices, they don't qualify. We're not gonna work with them. So we don't have any problem at all getting people to use their own devices to run their own projects. But for those ones that I'm talking about, you can go down like I did. I went down to Walmart and I bought a whole shopping cart full of these cheap phones for, I think I paid like 29 bucks a piece for them. You don't have to connect them to a cell service. You just plug them into the Wi-Fi, install the app, and let her rip. So you can overcome, you know, any problem with that. The the biggest problem I had was having these things laying all over the place. And on Amazon, I found this nice little rack, so I can I can put a whole a whole boatload in a rack, and I've got these racks sitting around. And you know, it's not that I don't have phones all over the place anymore, but at least they look nice and they're organized and they stay charged <laughs> so pretty cool stuff uh, here is the last testimonial I'm going to share with you this was Tony and he said I got involved with site pop approximately two months ago have my first couple of clients and look at that last one he says I gave notice today to my dead-end job I start full-time work in marketing uh, that is just really cool. I love to see that kind of stuff. So 
Tony's got out of his dead end job. He's picking up clients. He's he's got a bright future. You know that that is just really cool. So you know at this point, it's kind of like decide which one. If you're gonna just do this for yourself, the pro is perfect. Gives you ten projects. You can use them on all your different properties. Uh, for whatever you want to do. It works for affiliate marketing. It works for e-commerce. It works for just about anything that search is important to. Or if you have a, you know, bigger aspirations and you want to sell this, you want to make money with it, it's an absolute no-brainer product for that with the agency. So it's it's down to that, 97 or 197. I don't know of anybody. There's probably no one on here that this would not benefit for. I mean, I think all of you guys probably have either a website or a YouTube channel or Amazon products, GMBs, something that this could could benefit for. So, you know, that's that's kind of our our thing is back to the AI. We're playing chess here. What's your next move? Are you going to kind of stay where you're at and remain on page two? Chris has a, a really cool uh, joke about that. Where do they bury dead bodies? <laughs> On page two of Google. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> nobody right. goes there. <laughs> page two of Google, Bing, Amazon, and YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, guys, you know that's uh, that's kind of the deal. It's it's back to you know really just which one which one suits you. Um, I know Chris probably has to jump off here pretty quick, but we've got some time. I can be on here for a little while if there's any uh, any questions. That uh... So, John, there's a couple of questions on here um, that I think would be great for everybody to kind of hear. One of them is says, um, hey, do we have to, like, buy a bunch of devices to do this? And really, I think John covered this, but it's that's really kind of a fallback plan. Um, and maybe we can talk just for a second about why you would want to buy some devices and what the reasons are. For instance, like most all of my customers, they all have um, the marketing assistant installed on their their PCs, their Mac computers, and on their Android phones. And um, they're very happy to help out. In fact, they're anxious to do anything they can to help. And so like when we ask them, we explain what it is and what it does. And when we ask them to do it, they're like, sure, yeah, no problem. And they they make a really tremendous effort make sure they stay connected and that they're they feel like they're participating in their own marketing and it's really a positive thing because oftentimes when you market for companies you just say okay we're doing it and they can't do anything you know what I mean and so they really like to participate and be able to feel like they're contributing now there's a couple of cases in which you're gonna find that you are not gonna be able to have them do that and those are like I, I do some work for a um, for a law firm and the the IT group that that manages the law firm says no because of security reasons and because um, we have everything lo like all their computers are locked down. Nobody can install their own software. It's like we control everything. Uh, we can't allow them to put your software on the computers. And so we're like, okay, no problem. And so that that's one reason why you may want to just buy a, a couple of phones um, to put on your desk for that case when the IT. Um, departments say, hey, no, you can't install anything on these on these laptops. So there's there's some extenuating circumstances where it really makes sense to be able to do this. Um, oftentimes, what we'll do is we'll take those phones and we'll actually like take them to the to the uh, law firm's office and we'll just have them plug it in there. It's usually easier to manage it from your place. It doesn't matter where it is, uh, but sometimes they like to participate in it. So we leave the phones there and they feel like, oh yeah, those are our phones that are doing our our um, SEO kind of thing, you know? So they kind of like to have that as a visual rep representation of what they're doing. So there's lots of different ways that you can do that. You don't have to just go out and buy a bunch of phones kind of a thing. So just want to kind of clear that up. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, another question too is that if you buy the, the beta price on the pro and you decide, you know, after the fact that you want to go up to agency, uh, can you do that and still get the beta pricing? And we will do that for you guys. We'll we'll honor this price if you want to go up or if you get the agency and you want to go down. Uh, that's not a problem. We'll we'll go ahead and honor that for you. No worries. 
Um, John, we had a couple of people ask if PayPal is one of the options to purchase this. Um, it's actually not. We do credit card only because we've had issues just like most internet marketing companies have had issues with PayPal and we just, we're just not going to deal with them. <laughs> They've stole probably $15,000 from us at one point and closed our account, took wow. the money and it's, <laughs> that it's happens. That, that yeah, is yeah. very unethical. So we don't have any interest in doing PayPal business. So, Girish, I hope that answers your questions. If you can use a credit card or debit card, both of them should work, and both of them are quite safe, so you don't have to worry about it. A couple of more questions are coming in, guys. Uh, Chris, if sure. you're around, or if uh, if you want, I could just read them. Sure. Yeah. Um, so there's uh, Steve is asking, do you have to keep running the campaigns over time, or do they stick after one campaign? Uh, with this, it's like any other SEO campaign. There's no way to really answer that. We've done some that, you know, that's all it took because it was kind of a snowball effect. And, you know, once we got them up, we got the first original search signals and then they started getting signals from real users after the fact. Uh, what they did, they just moved the project to a different site and did it there. Uh, we also found that you can you can rotate you're in total control of the back end of your projects so if you get a keyword up you can go ahead and swap the keyword out for a more difficult keyword and that's what we kind of do in our training is we show how to get fast results on traction keywords and pull the the heavier uh you know more competitive keywords up behind it so you you can uh, you can stop doing a project and sometimes get the benefit, but in most cases, it doesn't make sense. You know, you keep pushing the momentum forward to get more and more and more. Awesome. Uh, Mark has a question. What if I'm working with one client at a time and there is a time gap for the next one? Wouldn't that reduce my results? Uh, time gap for the next one. Um, no, I mean, this is like, this is on a campaign by campaign basis. So like you can, you could literally set one campaign up and it would do just fine. And it's, you know, and then you add another campaign later, it doesn't have any connection really to the first one. Gotcha. I think that's, I, I, I'm not sure if I really got the meaning of the question, but. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought as well, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, somebody's asking, will this work to boost a Facebook page or Facebook group? Kind of, yes, I guess, if it's like, you know, you promote it as a landing page somewhere. Yeah, you could put that in as a direct page. We've had some people that did that uh, on LinkedIn. They put their actual LinkedIn. The thing was they didn't put the the LinkedIn domain, they put the actual landing page. And I think I, I should uh, reach out to our audience and find out because uh, I know a lot of people were playing around with that, especially for LinkedIn. And I should see, uh, get some more, better results or, or better testimonials to see if that works. I know typically we put the domain in because part of the, part of the secret sauce of this is going with the grain. So when you put the domain in, it, it'll grab the first page. And a lot of times it's not the home page. A lot of times it's a deeper page, but it might not be the same page that you think it should be, or maybe that you want it to be. But part of the process here is letting Google's AI figure out what the users really like. So it's going to see them going to these other pages and, and the page rank is going to go up across your whole site. So. It, it just, it all just kind of works together in conjunction. Cool. So there's a follow-up from the question Mark, Mark was asking. Uh, what I mean is working with one client at a time would allow us to use my device and theirs, which is only two devices, which would reduce the results, question mark. Oh, gotcha. So 
for each campaign, we recommend, you can use one device per campaign, but we recommend that you do two because that'll get you 500 searches. That's kind of where we found the sweet spot for this. And again, if you've got a, a customer that doesn't have a device or you know, maybe they're on iOS and they don't want to deal with it, you can just charge them a little bit more, buy a phone for them and just manage it for them. Or, or like Chris said, most of them would, you know, they'll plug it in and leave it in their office. You know, that's all you have to do. You connect it to Wi-Fi. It doesn't need its own service or anything. Uh, or you can just plug it in your own office. I've got probably 50 or 60 phones sitting here at the side of my desk that are all plugged into those little boxes. <laughs> so I run it's quite a lot of phones there, yeah. Yeah, I, I run them for a lot of our clients that, you know, they, they have either HIPAA compliancy or like Chris was saying, any anything in the legal, uh, legal, medical, and financial. Those are the three groups of, of people that we've found that don't want to run devices on their, or don't want to run any kind of software on their devices. So it's not a problem, you know, we just buy the phones for them and run it, manage them and just charge them a little bit more. Like I said, you can buy the phone for like 30 bucks and uh, set it up and it doesn't really cost you anything to connect it to the Wi-Fi. Um, so Girish is asking 500 searches. Is it 500 per project or per device? It's 500 per project and that's based on two devices. So it's 250 per device. We recommend two devices per project, but you don't have to. Like there's some non-competitive stuff that, you know, we've got people getting away with just one device per project. And one of the things too, that we just recently came out with to save on having to have, you know, a ton of different devices was on our Android. And this is only available on our Android devices. We allow you to put up to five projects on a single device. It can't be all five Google projects. It has to be one of each. So you can connect like one Google project. It, it has a, a box basically to put your project code in. And there's one, one for Google, one for Bing, one for Amazon, one for YouTube, and one for GMB. So if you're if you're running different types of projects, you can take advantage of the Android being able to run five projects on one single device. So that was a major upgrade that we just rolled out here about to, just about two or three weeks ago. All of our users just were were going crazy over that one. They love it. <laughs> Awesome. Folks, we're going to be here for another two minutes or three minutes at tops. And uh, yeah, shoot away your questions, whatever's holding you back or anything you want to ask John while he's still here, because I don't want uh, holding him here for too long. It's Monday. Everybody has business <laughs> to, learn, uh, to run and things to answer. So yeah, shoot away your questions. We're going to be here for another couple of minutes and we're going to wrap up very um, another question is must it be a smartphone is there any minimum requirement for the kind of phone uh, it's basically any any kind of newer android it, it can't be like one of the old super old androids that's out of date uh, it's got to be something <clears throat> probably anything within the last couple of years is going to work fine um, that's that's pretty much some of the older stuff is just too far out of date, too far out of version. But anything, anything new Android, any Windows device that's Windows 10 or or above, we we don't go back backwards compatible beyond Windows 10 though. And on the Mac computers, they pretty much stay up to date because they update themselves. So there, we haven't had any issues with any of the Mac devices, the Mac computers. Cool. Another thing too, uh, another if question. you guys if you guys have questions beyond this, we do like once a month. We usually do like an open webinar for best practices and answer questions and all that stuff. So don't feel like if you get in on this and you have questions that you're just going to be you know lost out in the field. We have we have really good support. We have a you know a members area with Q and A and 
and a bunch of different videos that we've already done answering questions and stuff. We've got the upcoming videos. We also have a, a help desk where you can ask your questions, you know, anytime you want in the help desk. Cool. So Tim is asking how hard is it to get number one and number two sport and how long does it stick for? There's really no honest way to answer that because anything that has to do with optimization, there's so many factors involved. Uh, every different keyword is going to react differently. Uh, sites are going to act differently. We've had super fast results in a lot of cases. You know, you've seen some of the testimonials that were like within a couple of days we saw results. It just depends on the keyword and the circumstances behind you know, how long that site's been in play, how far up the keyword is already. In our best practices video, we, we talk about how to get fast results. And there's certain ways to do it. There's certain ways that you pick the keywords, all that stuff. But there's no honest way for me to say that, hey, this is going to work for any keyword, um, you know, in this given time frame. It just, uh, search doesn't work that way. There's too many variables to be able to answer that. Uh, the short answer is if you do it right, it should work pretty quickly, um, anywhere from, you know, a few days to within within the month. In fact, in our agency training, I show how to give a guarantee, how to guarantee results, or you run the program for up to a year until you get results, because we have never seen anything where, you know, we didn't get results and, you know, within 90 days. And that's where you give them the guarantee. You can guarantee a first page listing within 90 days. And if not, we'll run the campaign for up to a year for you. Uh, and that's how we sell it, you know, for the agency guys. That's how I teach them how to sell it to their customers. And worst case scenario, uh, you sell it for $97 a month, you collect three months and you have to run it for a year, worst case scenario. So You've got 12 times four, it costs you $48, you collected 300. That's your worst case on the agency model. And, and again, we've never had that as a case. We've, we've never had anybody where we had to do the service for free. <laughs> um, I've got a question from Anne. Anne says, did you say the number of projects per mobile phone or computer? If so, how many? then I would buy more phone or on Wi-Fi. Okay, so on, on the computers, on Windows 10 or, or, or better, you can just use one project per device. Same thing with the Mac. On the, on the Android device, you can put up to five projects, but only one of each platform, like one Google, one Bing, one YouTube, one Amazon, and one uh, GMB. So you can have five projects running on a on an Android phone or one project running on the on the desktops. Um, can I quit anytime if I sign up? Yes, absolutely. There's no long-term contract. Um, just know that you know if you do quit, we've had some people quit that you know that got in on the beta pricing. And then, you know, when they want to come back, you know, the, the pricing's probably not going to be the same. And also, the other thing that you guys aren't just locking in the price here, you're locking in the, the ability to have all the platforms. So if you come back at a later date, you, you might not get the same deal that you're getting. But yeah, there's no long term. You can, you can try it for a month. If you don't like it, you can, you know, just let us know. We're, we're happy to cancel it out for you. We don't get that very often. Usually people try this, they absolutely love it. They love the ease of it. They've never seen, you know, an optimization thing that actually works that's so easy to uh, to do and maintain. A lot of people are asking, um, John, if they, if they buy the pro version, will they be able to upgrade to agency later on? Yes, yeah, and we will honor the same pricing as well. So if that's the case, if if you get in on the pro and you want to go up, and, and also if you get the agency and you decide you want to go down to pro, that's no problem either. 
just uh, you know, either shoot me an email or or send a support ticket in, and we can adjust your account for you. Not a problem. Awesome, folks. Questions, keep them coming. I think we're past the two minute uh, timer <laughs> window that I said, but let's give it another minute or so, and then we'll have to wrap up. Questions are coming in. So Patrick, Patrick says, can you explain? the address that used how does it work can you use a different address different city oh sure <clears throat> what we recommend is you put the address for the for the business that you're optimizing and you don't have to put the physical address like if you have a home business you can just put the city in and it'll geolocate the center the reason for that is remember when i was doing the training one of the one of the signals one of the ai signals or the you know what we called them one of them was having searches done from the location of the business and that's a big trigger for the for the ai so the reason for that is we look to our network to see which device we're going to run the search and that's another thing a lot of people think that these searches are coming off of their own phones and they're not. The searches are coming from our network of phones. So when you put your project in, your phone might search for it if it's in the general vicinity, but it's also going to get searched from all the other phones in the same general vicinity, not just yours. Your phone is going to be running searches for other people that are near to you or near to the phone when, you know, when it's in that location. So that's the reason it, it, it gives localized searches. It also, you know, it's going to go out in concentric circles. It's going to search all over. You know, you might even get searches from other countries. That's not a problem as long as it's not the majority of the searches you get. Like that was one of the problems when we had people in India doing the micro workers. All the searches were coming out of India and it looked fishy. But here they're they're spread all over. We've got devices all over the world. So the reason for the for the address is basically so it can geotarget and it can locate our devices that are closest to run the searches for you. So it looks completely natural. Um, David is asking, do affiliate marketing campaigns work? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can, uh, what I would recommend though, is I, I recommend that you don't use this on, a, on an affiliate site, like your landing page on the affiliate site. I would recommend you set up your own landing page on your own domain and push that up instead of using the power of this to push up the power of someone else's site. You know, because chances are in the affiliate, in the affiliate scenario, Let's say you're on an affiliate site and there's, you know, a thousand different affiliates. So they have a thousand affiliate pages. What if somebody else has done a lot of optimization on their site and their site winds up coming up first and SitePop clicks through their site instead of yours? That could, you know, that could potentially be a problem where if you just set up a site on your own for your affiliate stuff, which you guys should be doing that anyway. We talk about that in our training. Uh, you should be building your own mailing lists. And, you know, there's a lot of reasons for that. If you're going to be a serious, you know, professional affiliate and you want to make a lot of money with it, you're going to want to be building your own mailing list. So that's uh, that's definitely a whole conversation in itself. But, yeah, it works for it works for anything, really. Anything that you, you know, anything that's search related, this will work for. Um, um, another great question, actually. Um, so if you're doing a na na nationwide business, do you leave out the city or do you use a different keyword for different cities? No, you still, you still put in the location, even though it's a national keyword, the location is still important. Um, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get searches from all over because you, you still will, but it will hit it hardest from where the, where the location is. And that is totally natural. Um, so you, you definitely still use that. Now, if you're doing a local-based business, like let's say you're doing a local pizza parlor, 
one of the things is you should be using probably localized keywords, putting the city actually in part of your keyword phrase. So there's there's kind of two sides to that. Awesome. Let me just check if we have more questions. Mark Mark says, okay, I'm done with the questions and I am <laughs> so well brilliant. I'm glad we could answer all your questions, Mark. <laughs> welcome, awesome. welcome to the team. Uh, Marilyn is asking, is there a lot of training included for beginners? Uh, we have we have quite a few different training videos and li like I said about once a month we'll actually do a live training and you know just to make sure that we answer everybody's questions we also and I've done this for a lot of different people and I know Chris has as well like somebody that's not real familiar with optimization and they they don't know if they've done it right we'll review your campaign and you know make make recommendations for you and, and all that, all you have to do is just go through our support system and ask for that, ask for a review, and we'll give you a Zoom, or actually it's a scheduling link, and we set up a, a private Zoom with you to go through your campaign with you. So not, don't, don't ever worry about, you know, the only bad question is the one that you don't ask. So we're, we're here to help. Really, and that's that, that, that's actually one of the key things that I really like about this program because you know often you buy products, uh, you know, uh, coaching, um, master classes, courses, even software products, and there's a lot of promise that these products can deliver, but then there's no training, there's no support at the back end, which is not. Uh, the case with Sidepop and with what John and Chris have put together, you're actually in a really good and really competent hand. People who have worked uh, on on SEO for for over two, two decades, two decades, which is a lot of experience, and they actually put in their time and money in uh, helping you achieve results. You know, there's not a lot of uh, services, there's not a software, I would say, uh, software as a services that I would say or for weekly or even monthly webinar uh, Q&A sessions. So, you know, even if you're stuck, even if you're completely confused and lost, you, you would always have John and Chris helping you out, answering your questions. So this is just incredibly incredible. This is worth more than what you're paying right now, especially at this price, at this beta price. I don't think there would be anybody who cannot make a profit on it let alone break even on this. So, you know, I, I, I just personally think this is an incredible, incredible uh, deal out there. Alan is asking, would this work with rank and rent? Oh yes, absolutely. In fact, when you rank and rent, you can continue on the service with the, with the person that you're renting the site to. You can say, hey, we've been doing optimization on this. Would you like to continue? It's just $97 a month. And it's it makes a great upsell for it. <laughs> Mark Mark says I was so ready to pay six hundred dollars today. Thanks for <laughs> such a great deal. <laughs> That's awesome. John, I personally do think you guys are underselling this. Like I, as a marketer, somebody who sells stuff, I do think this is. This is just ridiculously low price for, yeah. for the whole deal that you're offering. Like I would, I would at least add like another, at least hundred dollars just because you're offering the 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 weekly and the monthly webinar sessions. That's just yeah. a lot of work. Like you know, time is money. If you if you have, if I had more than two and a half decades worth of experience, and I would get on a webinar call or a live call with people, I would be charging like another thousand dollars just to be on that call, just to speak to the people. Yeah. Well, the, the truth is I actually do private consulting and it's a thousand dollars an hour. And, you know, in my agency, I, I make plenty on that. The reason that we're doing this is like I said, it, it's like, we want to build this to, to be ultra. I mean, it's already ultra powerful, but the more people that we put in the network, the more powerful, and the more the, the more longevity this thing is going to have and we want it to last forever because i got to tell you 
I've been using these techniques. The stuff that we're using now with the NLP triggers, that's kind of a new addition, but we've been using this base system since 2010. So 12 wow. years we've been sending search signals under the radar, completely undetected. And I gotta tell you, if it wasn't for this, I would be out of the SEO business. This saved my bacon and Chris as well. This is like the thing that makes us superheroes in this industry. And without it, I, I, I can almost assure you neither Chris or I would be in this business because we wouldn't be able to do it. So we want to just, you know, give that to, to the people that come under our wing. And, and like I said, you know, we're happy to help you guys. We have a ton of people reselling our stuff. I don't even sell SEO retail anymore because I just push that to our resellers. I just let them do it. You know, me and Chris just kind of work behind the scenes now and help people. And, and we've got, we got plenty, believe me. We don't we don't need to squeeze every penny out of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. All right, folks. I think I think the questions are running out now. Uh, I think we covered pretty much everything out here. Folks, make sure you go to the URL that you see on your screen. I've, I've, I'm gonna drop it again on the chat one last time, and then we're gonna wrap up this session. I will try and have a replay of this session um, over to you guys by tomorrow morning Eastern. Uh, but to be honest, I won't keep this open for more than 24 hours. So um, if you joined us a little bit late, make sure you watch the replay of the recording of this training 100% by tomorrow because we can't keep this open for too long because I have to respect the time and the effort Chris and John have put together. So yeah, it, it has been an incredible session today. I really learned a couple of new things and the, the whole side pop system that you guys have put together, Chris and John, it's just incredible. If you guys are still on the fence, make sure you copy paste this link, save it if you're not picking it up right now. If you need a couple of hours just to sort out your uh, payment or card or banking thing, copy paste this link, open it up on your browser, wait for it and get it done. And um, yeah, I think I think this was a brilliant session. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, John. Thank you, Chris, for taking the time out to uh, do the session for my peep sharing all of this with us today. Oh, cool, yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, we, we always enjoy sharing the information. <laughs> right, all right, guys, I'll See you guys later. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Have a good night if it's night at your end, just like mine. And I will see you guys in a different session. Cheers. Have a great day.